Yo guys, what's up? It's Wangatang here doing another Tribes Live Gameplay Commentary. How are you guys doing? I'm fantastic. It actually sounds really weird. I just got, like, my computer room. Just got hardwood hardwood floors, and now it's, like, echoing weird, and it's just, like, you know what? Little strange. But today, we are playing some Raider on Permafro- or not Wow, Permafrost. Okay, no, we're on Dangerous Crossing, actually. If I could hit a grenade jump, we'd go in for a slide grab right now. But, you know, that didn't happen, so we're just going to play regular clear like a normal scrub. So, I've been kind of reading the comments, you know, doing that stuff, you know. Believe it or not, I can actually read. Um, but people are like, I need help on offense. I feel like law means, like, the only thing I can do that makes me feel like I, have, you know, have done something this life. So, we're going to go over that kind of stuff. This sniper is going to be the bane of my existence, this video. Got him there. So, pretty much showing off all my... Oh my god. All of my little shenanigans here. Oh dear god. Oh dear god. Get that return. Get the return. Okay. That that right there, I can die now. If I get this guy too, I'll probably cry. If I airmail... Ooh! Dirt. Yeah, you can see I'm taking some snipes. Okay, so one of my goals this video would be to shut down that sniper, because, you know, that's what offense does, is shut down snipers. There's a nice little grenade jump. A little better. Not the best positioning of it, but, you know what, it's okay. We got a grenade launcher, which is, you know, probably my favorite all-time raider weapon. I don't know, I just feel like grenade launcher suits raider very well. I think raider, I instantly picture the grenade launcher. It's just one of those things. I do like Desert NJ four and whatever the fuck it's called you know whatever this nice smg is called that's what i like because it's the fastest shooting it's so sneaky and fast it's really really good against mediums i find not as good against heavies oh well i'm gonna assume that guy's on my team um oh no oh that's gonna be sneaky perfect so we got the jammer pack which isn't super popular really shield pack is definitely up there for one of like the best things ever but i like the jammer on this map and any map that is snowy, pretty much because it's really hard to see you coming in as offense. And one of the biggest issues with offense is if everyone sees you coming in, you're going to struggle doing anything because they're ready and waiting for you. Like right there, these guys didn't know I'm just coming in. I can do some great work. You know, everything's all good and dandy in the hood. Getting to chain out a Pathfinder. But why? I think I've talked about the Desert NJ 4 or 5. This, the desert desert SMG in other videos, but I prefer it strictly because it's better against pretty much all mediums, and uh, that's a lot of what you're going to be dueling in comp level scenarios. That would be an example of a prime fidget followed by a nice little snipe, but I'm over it. So we're going to try to do a slide here. I kind of know a raider route, kind of. I would like to know some more on this map because shield pack... Uh, raider grabs are really nice so you know that's a possibility I haven't taken the time to learn any right now just one of those things but I definitely want to so pretty much what you're gonna see me doing is taking kind of a back alley to get to the stand don't want to go straight at them this is honestly the best map to do this kind of stuff on because especially with a good sniper like pillows or I'm sure it's a smurf or whatever He's gonna see me coming. He, I'm sure he's not spotting cappers like, you know, a sane sniper would be in any other scenario. He's gonna be, he's gonna be going for the booty, which would be me. But yeah, as you can see, getting some nice chains. Gonna run away from this fight. Bit too many pathfinders with wars for my liking. But, you know, we'll jump up here. I don't think anyone's gonna contest me in this area right now. And I can kind of dodge sniper fire. So it's gonna be pretty useful for me. Also, my grenades can be spammed down on flag stand, and, you know, bouncing shit, you know, you know what, pretty good, like, you know, geometry, shapes, all that great stuff, we're gonna hide up here. So, for my perks, I'm using Ultra Capacitor 1, I know, you can just tell I'm shocked, right? Um, it's, it's kind of a surprise, I, most people don't even use this, stand has been pretty goddamn clear if I do say so myself. And quick draw, quick draw is just default used by everything. I'm doing a better job of chasing on offense than my chasers are. God, what is this guy's problem? It's okay. I'm completely fine with it. We are up. We've got the cap. This guy's probably gonna get chained. So, kind of 
I'm gonna skip the Desert NJ4 stuff unless this video is like becoming super unbelievably long and, and I'll go into it. But grenade launcher is just magnificent at clearing stand, especially on a map like Dangerous Crossing. Plus Raider with a shield pack or jammer pack. You can help teammates. You can spam down the bull. You can you can do a lot, a lot of just really neat stuff. Also, using it for my grenade. I have the great um, EMP extra large, meaning if that Hoff, you know, gets knocked off by one of my five beautifully timed, perfectly aimed, you know, grenade launcher shots, then I can, you know, stick him down there. He's got no energy, no way back up. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a rough day. Um, oh, this is not looking good. I'm shooting these grenade launcher shots to get my automatic reload on super spiffy weapon which would be desert oh I'm not gonna make it Ooh, that was a nice cat by them after a while too much ground pound and too much snipe will kill you it's okay but we're we're doing a pretty successful job here wow I, I don't like that guy gonna be dead honest gonna be dead honest to the past couple matches okay that guy died here we have a nice little capper followed by three chase People like to chase on this map, but I find that chase is an interesting thing because of the bull, and you can just walk, and very, it's very challenging to chase. Very challenging. Uh, flags just never home. All that good stuff. So we kind of just secured this cap, although I would like to play offense. You know, the goal of offense is to get caps. So if you have the enemy flag, don't go clear the stand. Like... You're not going to help anyone. The capper can't get the flag because you already have the flag. Surprisingly, there it is. Now, actually, I'm going to roll out here because their base turrets up and it's going to take me a little longer. Plus, what I knew it was going to kind of bounce back into bull. So, you know what? With it being 2 2, they both teams have some great flag pressure. Um, we're going we're gonna to line up here, kind of go around. I want to find the sniper, especially now that we're out with the flag. But this is going to be a nice example. All of their chasers, or prime time with all their chasers and kind of LD away from the base, I can come kill base turrets and other assets. That raider helped me out there. I'll take that. Radar, very, 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 very important. If not the most important asset in existence. This guy is the sneakiest guy I've ever met. Thankfully, I have. Wow. He ricocheted that off the base turret and hit me. That is pretty impressive defense. He must be very skilled at the art of throwing Mervs at his own base. It's a very, very, uh, very useful skill, you know. Very, uh, you know, underdeveloped. I, I mean, it's you don't see it enough in these good players that they can't Merv their own base. It's, it's amazing, guys. I should do an entire video segment on how to Merv your own base. Because, honestly, we, we need more of that. Now, okay, you know what? A little bit of sarcasm, but that never killed anyone until I kill someone with it, and then it killed someone. Oh, that's gonna be such a cap. Oh, he missed! He missed! What a fool. See, this would be a great little ra raider slide. Just kind of something coming in, being like, yeah, we got this. Ooh, look at that nice little secure. Get up there, get up there. I will... Ugh. Okay, but see, even though I didn't do much that life, I would call it an accomplishment. I went in there, I threw down some grenades. Air Raider is very much an area of denial class, where it's like, hey, you can't go here because, well, I just threw a shit ton of grenades, and now it's like, shwabam. That's a lot of damage, a lot of knockback, just a lot of shit that happens when you get hit by grenades. Raider grenades are extremely deadly. In fact, you get five of them, five times like 500 is a lot of damage it's insane this was a really bad idea to this head on this is what you don't want to do is take the long way around and then still go head on okay that was a bad example of what i was doing but you know what we're okay we're gonna get this return so now we are gonna go down the middle this time it's on purpose don't worry now i don't have a reason to be in the middle that's a weird raider hello Okay, okay, let's let's help out Heavy Sheller here, because why not? He looks like he can use some help. 
Also, the nice thing about the Jammer Pack is you share it, so you know, communism. Communism is a good thing, obviously. And because you share it and no one knows how much health you have... Ooh, you just got raped, boy. That's an enemy flag. We could probably walk this if I kill some chase here. That was a weird bounce. I thought I was bouncing towards me. Alright. I'm okay with that. I just tried to mid-air him with a grenade. Okay, that's a new one. Um, so we're kind of playing some midfield now. Because these chasers aren't going to have rage. So they gotta they got to take a disc. Oh shit, we got to get a return. Never mind. They have to take a disc. I can do some damage and potentially even kill them. I think, I think I might do it, guys. I think I might do it. This is the one time. Because that guy is very into his base turret. Gotta get rid of it. For the sake of this cap. I know, I know he's gonna put it back up. I know. Wasn't born yesterday, unfortunately. Um, but hopefully... EMP grenades are pretty good at disrupts. Got him. That's gonna help me for like five seconds. I'm always amazed by that base turret. It's honestly one of the, like the seven wonders of tribes to send. First off, why a lot of weapons were even put in this game is one wonder, but that base turret is okay. Orbital strikes will fall under that category as well, but ba that base turret, it shoots through the base. Swear to God. It, the clipping is just very off. It's, it's just weird, but the idea is that without a jammer pack, it's going to be pretty hard to get up there. I'm going to knock all that shit down, and it's going to be a great day. I'm going to kind of try to hold that area. Let's see what we can do here. Let's see. They got a jammer pack up there, which means if I jam my pack, no homo, that's what she said, then theoretically, I'm going to grab what am, I, what am I talking about? Uh Lots of chasers waiting on the other side. That's pretty effective. So this is a little grab. You know, didn't plan this until about three seconds ago. But the idea with this... The idea being is I got the flag all the way to my side of the field. Theori Ooh, that was dirty. That was dirty. Theoretically, I should have some teammates come help me, and you know what, I would have like just as many teammates there as there would be enemies. Ooh. Let's, let's mid-air him real fast. Ready? Ready? Ooh, no, not quite. So, theoretically, I would have some teammates, and they'll be like, yo, you got the flak. Shit, dude. We got nothing else to do. We're on defense. I'm gonna help you out. Theoretically, that's what would happen. Yes, I killed myself, but you know what? It was a successful life. This guy is camping my little, uh, little, uh, start out right here. So, like, see this guy? I, I want to help him. Because, well, he's got the flag. Our, the goal of the game is to capture the flag. My whole job is to clear the flag stand for this exact moment. For someone to pick up the flag and get it back to our base. Obviously, I would prefer it if it was a capper going, you know, too fast, too quick, two chains. But that's not always. Ooh, that was orbital strikes pretty damn close. That's not always true. It doesn't always work that way. But main priority is you gotta get to that flag, if, especially if you're playing offense. Your goal on offense doesn't doesn't matter about kills. Normally they kind of come with with the trade. But the whole goal is to get it clear enough that a capper can come in and grab it. Once the capper grabs it, your job instead of clearing for the capper is to make sure you cap the flag which is I think what a lot of people kinda get confused even if their team has the flag they're still gonna run at that stand and be like I wanna clear it and when they don't get kills they get frustrated so like this I'm gonna go in for maybe a re-grab or kinda use this time wisely to try to kill assets ooh that was a kinda nice little little shamboozle there here we go. I'm gonna throw one of these out. Pretty effective, you know, just wreck that. Also, blackout grenades could be effective. I have a tendency to like EMPs though. Uh, mortars are also pretty good. You know, if you got a you got a fusion mortar, that's pretty that's pretty freaking effective. Uh, that guy is getting way too close. 
So this is not one of the bases you can kind of cling to the edges like Buck. You can cling to the edges, but not as great as Permafrost. Permafrost, I love sneaking on to the edges of the base, just shooting at them at weird ass angles. Like they're like, where, where are these grenades coming from? And you know, sometimes they hit you like that, and you just kind of like you know, run to a different part until you run out of ammo, which was poorly planned on my part. This capper's gonna run into us anyways. He thinks he's top shit. Uh, oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. Get that jammer pack up. Here we go. Gonna run around a little bit because I'm a little scared. Uh, I feel like my the headphones are a little off. Maybe it's just being in a more... I don't even know. Say like the room I'm in doesn't make any sense. Like, oh yeah, my surroundings of my headphones. I don't know. Either way, I feel like I can, maybe my surround sound's on. Normally I don't actually play the surround sound because most games have it built in, and I'm so used to not playing with it, it will actually like, freaks me out to the point like I don't like it. This guy's gonna die. That guy's not gonna die. Ooh. Heavies are hard. NJ5B, I probably kill him, but you know what? That's okay because in reality, in reality I'd rather be better fighting off soldiers than pathfinders. Pathfinders, that's a different story and a different loadout for more of a standoff type feel. That's a whole nother thing where, you know, you know shit's gonna happen. So look at this guy. He's out with the flag. Look at all this red. He's gonna struggle. This is where raiders gonna come in and do some huge ass damage. You know, you could call it an orbital strike, or you could just be a raider class. And you know what? I picked up some assists. Unfortunately, that's still another person who I was trying to dodge. Here's the stupid -ass sniper. Oh, that's gonna be rough. When fighting the sniper, make sure you have the high ground, not them. Because shooting down, especially as a sniper, is extremely easy. It's, it's kind of sickening. So, you gotta get the high ground get up there and then snipers are really not a problem but when you're kind of attacking from middle ground or from low to high it's it's gonna be a struggle so that's what I'm gonna s that's kind of my thoughts I do believe sniper is a sentinel is a I don't I don't want to say sniper it's, it's a balanced class in comp and pugs it's in pub public matches it's not at all not even close um, but otherwise you know you need the class that's all I'm gonna say. But on another note, that's another offensive tip for you. I'm gonna try to throw out as many as those possible. There we go, doing damage. I'm waiting for this capper return here. I don't like this. This guy is shelling from that side. Let's see, making sure all the assets kind of stay down. Like that technician kept coming back. And you know, sometimes you'll have three or four snipers or three or four technicians. Just keep killing assets. Pull them away from your base, and then when your cap capper gets out, that's when you go do killing stuff. Raider is not a class where you grab a shit ton of kills super quick. This is going to be a dumb idea, but I'm over it already. Jammer pack's not going to help me, but... Otherwise, oh, you get that conk. Can't believe him. That was nice. I was... The plan was to get it fairly home. Obviously, that's the goal of a capper. This rising legend guy is really good at chaining. And that's not a bad thing. I just haven't seen him in like competitive scene or anything, and I'm genuinely surprised. That was not supposed to be a melee. See, I got the high ground. Got him. Grenade launcher at high ground is just really nice. You can you can just spam all directions, and you'll eventually hit them pretty much. So here we go. You know, here's one guy. I don't know why he decided to throw it. He's... Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, that was a little nice little misdirection. Not gonna lie. I was worried what he was planning. Uh, that sounds like a Nova Colts. That is not, not nice. So, we got some crash. Uh-oh. Yeah, not my most, you know, graceful move, but it was an attempt, and... I give myself an E for effort, so definitely failed that one. Oh god, pillows again. The offensive sniper is real. Honestly, oh, that would have been nice. 
I would have probably made my day. Actually, I got a couple really sick air mails with the grenade launcher. Those are always really rewarding. So, I know I'm breaking my own rule here. I'm going down midfield, but I kind of gave that up when I went for the sniper play. So, it's okay. I kind of skied myself back up here pretty eloquently. But look, I have no energy. I can't really do much. Um, definitely one of those things with Raider Europe. You will certainly see. You need energy. This class revolves around energy. That's why EMP grenades are just so good. Okay, in my defense, I forgot they spawned there. I thought they were just up the hill a little more, but maybe that's a side one. Okay, so this is the game winning cap. Pillows is calling in his orbital strikes. You know, Rising Legends coming in. What's gonna happen? Probably getting killed. I'm not sure how, what he called in or how many he called in, but he called in. He called in a lot. That was pretty insane. I thought he already called in a sh like an orbital, and then he called in another orbital, and then I was like, I'm definitely out of range of that orbital. And, ah, man, the melee, melee game is off par. God, chaining with desert is really nice. 10 second respawn for snipers. Balanced, we'll say. Ooh, that was not good. So now I have no energy at the side. Side hill, a little better cover. The sniper spawn, they're good spots right over here by that hill, really. So I'm kind of in the clear. I'm going to crash on this flag because that's important and it's on their side of the base. So I'm, gonna, I'm probably going to get some kills out of it, to be honest. Um, there's a good chance I will, just because they're going to crash on it. They'll be fairly weak. How did he gain so much health back? Oh, the survivalist. Oh, survivalist. Okay, that's okay. That's okay. The other thing with Ultra Capacitor that I do enjoy is because you need the extra energy as Raider. It's so important. Also, how many EMP grenades do you really need to spam at the Hoff? Their main priority is getting the Hoff off stand and then not letting him get back on stand. So off stand is a grenade launcher. That's just to get them off, but keeping them off stand, those are your EMPs. All you need is one. The radius is massive. It's like your mother's vagina. I'm just kidding. More like my dick. It's it's huge. You can't miss with it. I mean, you can miss with it, and trust me, I have on several very critical occasions. But that's okay. I'm kind of over it. So this guy's going to get shamboozled. He thinks I'm on his team. But in reality, oh, he's been shamboozled. So that's fun. Um, this is just the angles you can take, I find, are really nice. Um, see, like, that guy didn't even see me, although I hit myself with my own grenade. Again, very, very skilled at doing that in critical times. Oh, God. Retreat. It's time to retreat. Oh, he's, he's in the most awkward pers pers ah, That's an awkward position. I'm going to go kill him. It, it's weird because I'm very used to the sniper being looking for cappers and you know like cappers when they have 56 health because that's the whole point of sniper but it's a weird spot but you know I'm over it I'm not gonna complain not gonna complain complaining is bad you know stress kills but complaining is suicide how's that for your I don't know what you call it philosophy we should do like psychology with Wang Atang That'd be pretty fun. Be like, tribes ascend psychology with Wangatang. That would be an interesting video series. You have a. Oh, why are you shelling your own base when you have big green booger blaster? God, please get out of my kitchen. What are you doing on defense with an NJ5B? You have a shotgun. Play offense. We win. Game over, fools. You can't kill me. I'm the Wangatang. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you took some tips out of this. 34 and 18, that's pretty pretty close to 2. So that's really good, plus all the assists that factor in. I didn't do as much grabbing as I would have liked, but we did have a good amount of flag play. I do want to make some videos on just, like, slides um, for all classes in general, just to help the pace of pubs, because it seems like people just, you know, they feel bad playing... They can't play offense because, you know, they don't, they're not, it's not fun, they're not getting kills. This will be fun. Slides, sliding is pretty awesome. So, stay tuned for that. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll catch you next time. Peace out.